Hours after the KU men's basketball team beat Davidson College at the Sprint Center in December, KU police were inside McCarthy Hall, which houses the men's basketball team, investigating a reported rape of a 16-year-old girl. It's shocking and ultimately it's sad. More than a month later, that investigation is still ongoing. I hope that there's no special treatment. According to police reports obtained by 41 Action News, five KU men's basketball players are listed as witnesses. We tried to find out why the players are listed as witnesses in this case, but the KU Police Department wouldn't reveal that information. The police reports say the alleged rape happened between 10 at night and 5 in the morning in December, days after the school's last fall finals. It is just dead and there's no one really around. It's a little ghost town. Campus police would not provide any information about the suspect, but they said the 16-year-old girl was visiting residents at the time. I'm sure it's an issue other places, but I just think it's really been undermined here. We scheduled an interview with KU Sexual Assault Prevention and Education Center to learn more about what the school is teaching students when it comes to sexual assault and prevention. KU canceled the interview, referring all questions to public safety, but campus police would not go on camera. Just the fact that it was um, in a in a dorm with high profile people um, and the fact that it was a, a 16 year old girl is just really sad and um, I think more could have been done to prevent that.